Hello, you amazing person, and welcome. My name is Rob, I am the Money Gaming Guy, and in today's video, we're going to be playing some Automation, the car company tycoon game. I'm actually starting a bit of a series today to give you the skill and mindset to make a beautiful car that has working props and is just a desire to look at. So without further ado, let's get started talking about what we're going to be doing today. Today's video is hopefully the title is going to tell you. It's going to be talking about the moving props. I feel there's a certain order you should do your styling if you want to do it and make it look right. This car, as you can tell, has already been started as a base model for us to work with. It's got an engine in. Uh, I think it's pushing out 525 brake horsepower, which is a bit too much because it's causing stress to the engine. It only wants about 320. Well, let's ignore that for now because that's not important. The tune of the car is made very sporty, as you can see, 100%. Um, and is slammed to the floor. But that is not what we're worrying right now. We will talk about suspension and stance in the future. But this video is more mindset on the props that move. Now, let's go to the prop section, the fixtures. I recommend when you're starting your car, even though you're not ready to put them in place, I tend to just put them on the bonnet. Don't matter too much. The things you want moving your car, put on the car already. Okay? The things I'm going to show you and give you the code later on. Uh, actually, it's in the description if you want to copy and paste it. Um, it's going to be for this. Some of these don't work. I'm still working on which ones will get these needles to work. I've got the rev and I've got the speed working. I want to have a fuel gauge, I want to have a um, temperature gauge, and I want to have the oil gauge, I think it is. Um, or even boost gauge, I guess. But uh, that's why I've got extras of these, but I'll basically just hide these um, away if I'm not using them, and just keep the main ones that I'll use. So yeah, we've got a steering wheel, brake, clutch, accelerator, more throttle. And uh, they're all in place at the moment. I have placed them roughly when they work. Um, well... <laughs> It's kind of hidden at the moment, but yeah, we'll sort that out in the future. We're also going to have a working handbrake. I have got working turning headlights. So they will turn and point where you're steering the car. But um, the only problem there, it doesn't actually turn in BMG. Maybe in the future, so I'm going to keep it in there and the code's still going to be there. We also got active aero. So the faster you go, the less anger you'll get. The aero will actually correct itself. At the moment, it's not linked to these, but if you want to link them to these, it is possible. But um, we'll have to talk about that in a bit when it comes to it. And that's going to be it. Oh, I've got some other things. Oh, no, sorry, I missed out pop-up headlights. We're going to be showing you pop-up headlights. That's in the code as well. For this tutorial, uh, we are going to glimpse over the dashboard because that obviously has the needles working in it. And obviously, there is a fixture settings on here we go to interior you've got some beam and g gauge lines now these work when you um turn on your lights or your indicators or your lower fuel these lights will come on they have got code written into them so they're all listed up um, there is two uh handbrakes but i will talk about reason why i'm doing that you can also do the same trick with your gear but uh, with your pedals that they're on show and that's it um after you put your moving props down and if you're doing your tuning, sometimes you may want to put uh, some downforce on. Try and put your downforce. You don't have to, because you can just do some mass and it's not mirrored, so it's not too bad. But put your downforce after all this stuff. Because um, if you change anything, or you change the style, and it changes the order of these, you're going to lose um, your code positioning. Like All these codes at the moment are wrong. I'm going to have to show you guys how to set that up in this video. And that's it, basically. Anything else you see was just not necessarily needed to be on there. So, now you know that bit, we're ready to get started. For you to be able to follow along in today's video and further videos of this um, series that I'm doing to help you make your cars look super amazing, you will need to go into Steam and go into your automation right click um, go down in your settings and you have to choose the beta version of this if i can i will try and show you a little bit of backing 
B-roll in the me talking here. And that will show you exactly the order you need to do things. Um, if you're not willing to do this, unfortunately, you're not able to carry on. Uh, there will be a few bugs and issues, but you also will be mostly up to date with the, what's going on. So, without further ado, let's carry on. So what I'm hoping is you've got your car to a certain point, but maybe you've decided to do this tutorial to a car you've already got and you just want to make it look better. Well, it's not going to be hard. It's just a case of doing some maths because you've got the numbers up here and they will represent what prop this is. It's starting from zero. But every so often you've mirrored a prop and you'll get a little logo down here showing that it's been mirrored. Because I think it's like if I was just to randomly click on something... Do, do, do. Yeah, that, it's that little logo there. The mirror logo will show that it's a, a mirrored item. And they actually count for two. So when you're counting up, if you got to this, it'll be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's, it's like that. But what you can do is say you're on prop number 26. Go from the start, or even go backwards from your prop 26. And just count every one there is. It'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd have to add seven onto my prop, which was 26. So it would be quick mass, hopefully, in my head. 30, uh, 33. So the number would be 33 in the props. And why is that important? Well, if we go over to the description, we're going to have to put this stuff into your description. So go to my description in the video and you'll see this lurking around copy it and then paste it into your description of your car and we'll have to change a few things mainly being the prop numbers and depending on your speed you may have to change uh, like your wheel speed steering um no steering won't have to change oh they're full of lights air speed that was for the aero that's for the pop-ups oil temp revs there we go wheel speed um most of my cars do about 240 miles an hour, so I'm quite comfortable with this being the case. But if your car's at different speed, you may have to just go back and forth into automation and beam and G, do some alterations. So you also like you know. So there's code. I'm going to presume that we're up to this point now of your car. You've got a car, you've flapped the engine in, you've done your tuning. Necessarily, you don't have to do sports tuning. Maybe you ought to concentrate more on the styling. That's perfectly fine. You put your props in, and now you're just trying to um, number up your props to the code that I've generously given you. I'm um, also going to, at some point, show you what each one of these values mean, so don't worry just yet about that. We'll get into that very soon. But what you're going to do is go to your fixtures, and I want to make sure the wheel's looked up, hinked up to the right one. So I'm going to click on the wheel, and it's zero. Prop number zero, that's fine. Go to wheel, prop. This little number here, I'm going to change that to whatever that prop number is. It's going to get a bit harder as we go down the line. So we've got... Give me a second. A little quick tip here. The firewall seems to be way too far forward. Actually, it's not, is it? I think my clutch and that are just way too far backwards. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's just grab them. Don't worry about what I was about to do. I said grab them. Okay, I'll do that. I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to grab them on here. There we go. Uh, let's just get them into sight. That's all I want to do for now. I'm not going to worry about too much about placement just yet because we can always move them down the line. There we go. Oh, they are ridiculously horribly high up. Let me just, I can't because my eyes are hurting looking at that. Come on. That have to be perfect just yet for me. I just want to know that they're there. Okay. So it should be. That's right, clutch, brake. So they're in order. One, two, three. Go over to here. One, prop two, prop three, clutch, brake, throttle. So they're all lined up. I'm not going to worry about the oil, temp, and fuel, because I'm pretty sure they don't work. It looks like prep four, prop five is going to be exactly right. Four and five, needles. Right, so handbrake should be nine. Let me just quickly do this for you guys. Hopefully you're copying and doing yours in the right order that yours are hooked up. So the parking brake I've got set to 9. 
Um, steering, I'm going to ignore them for now. That's these guys. That's um, turning the lights. Uh, you can obviously, if you want to carry on, you can make sure those props are lined up. But I'm pretty sure they will be. Airspeed is for that downforce. That should be the next one in the line. It is. Okay. So what other things am I trying to run? Uh, Pop-up headlights. 22 and 23. I think this is where I'm going to need to do some quick masks. Because I'm not I'm sure that they've been changed positions. So 20. So here's my pop-up headlights. That is the 3D version of it. So that's fine. And then that's the down version. Okay, so let's start counting backwards from here. One, two, three. I'm counting only the mirrored ones. Four. That went too hard, was it? Okay, four. So I've got to add four on two. Yeah, see, it's definitely nowhere there. Uh, 15. So it's going to be 19 and 20. So let's change. Oh, just not my microphone. I'm so sorry. We'll change that to 19 in prop on the left and then 20 on that one uh, each prop will need its own code i can't it won't mirror because they're their own prop like we said we're counting through that was uh prop 19 and that one's 20 even though they're a mirrored prop and they're working together they're not working together when you've used a code so just keep that in mind when you're doing um code to mirrored things you have to do them each separately so there we go all my code now is hooked up if we go over to bmmg we can go see it all working so i'm gonna do that for you guys okay so you've exported your car to bmmg you've now loaded the game bmmg up just choose a really small map just like the grid one because all we're doing at the moment is just watching some but Oh, excuse me. Pushing some buttons on a keyboard and just to check if our props are actually working. Make sure we got the right order and all that. I was hoping this game would have loaded while I was chatting rubbish, but for some reason it's taking its time. Yo. Oh, now it's thinking. I think having OBS automation and BeamNG open at the same time, the PC is like, you shouldn't be doing this to me. This is not fun for my thinking powers. I'm just like, get on with it, PC. Come on. This is wasted footage time, PC. Oh, my days. It's just crashing or something, can it? No, no, just, just, just skip to it, loaded. Oh. Yeah, I thought so, Beam. So, go into vehicles. I push escape, go into vehicles. How slow my PC is. I need to I need to update it. So soon. Not long now. Not long now. Okay, so we find our car. And we're gonna do just load it into the map. Well, I drink some of my Purdy's natural energy. Hmm. See so you guys in the game. I recommend have a look around. Probably use five in relative mode. Um, we can check the dials quite easily. Uh, where's it rev? It revs. Oh, apparently, it's revs up to nine thousand. Is it quite accurate? It revs quicker than this revs. This is a bit unrealistic. You can probably change something in the codings. It'll probably that help. We've got my speakers up loud. I hope I didn't ruin my recording then. I guarantee I did. Oh well. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to push Q on my keyboard and hold down forward. I'm going to be looking at the speed out. You're going to be, have your airspeed displayed. You go, well, not your airspeed. You've got ID revving it, matching it to this. So about 120 on here. I'm about 130 here. So it does need some adjustments. And what you have to do to adjust that is just go back and forth from automation and beam and G, just doing some corrections until you think it suits it enough. I'm not gonna bother, it's it's close enough considering um Let's see now, is it, is it really oh, I can go back I guess. But uh, all these lights should be working on the dash as well. What we're just gonna assume they do because it is beam and G, so we don't need to test that really. Steering wheel, left and right on the keyboard, left, right, 
So that works. That will link up to your sim rig as well. And we want to be... Oh, why is that still there? What the... Did I actually export this car properly? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Well, everything else will be working. I'll re-export the car when it comes to the headlights. Now, I've actually got two props of these in. Okay, this, this white floor is really dumb or not. Give me a second, I'll be back. Okay then, well, it looks like we've broke this car already. Um, exporting the Beam and G. For some reason, it has a ginormous white box. I don't understand why. It could maybe be some of the code that we put in breaking it. I also changed... Okay, you can go away. I changed the color of the under panel material. Maybe it didn't like that. I'm just going to make that plastic again. You never know. That might fix it. Um, apart from that, oops. But I still got the principle through. You want to go through all your props and you want to test them and make sure they're working to your specifications to how you want them to work. You want, them, you want them all to be the same. Just go down when you're pushing them one-to-one -one sort of thing. There is a special little trick I did want to tell you. This prop here, the handbrake, is actually in two pieces. Uh, I took the one prop and I split the colours down. Uh, well, I took the one prop that moves and then I duplicated it. I made sure that I only got the part left that I wanted to move. Made everything else invisible. And then we got did it again, but the opposite way around. We left all the other parts and the parts we don't want to see moving, we've made invisible. So what happens then is that will move like this and the other, everything else will stay there. You can get really geeky. You, if you wanted that to move as well, the pin, you can do that. But... um. I wouldn't be sitting there doing that sort of code personally myself. I'll just uh, maybe wait for a prop that doesn't look so bad or just hope that people don't really notice. But that's up to you. But yeah, if it works, perfectly fine. A button on the white box. And go through and check it all. And then when you're happy, you want to then just put it all into place. Obviously, when you do your dashboard, uh, I know all mine's all set up, but I copy and pasted this from a different car just to try and get this tutorial ready and sorted for you a lot quicker and easier. When we start on the next one, uh, we will be doing some interior, I believe. Working on the inside and outwards of the car. Because I do think that's probably one of the best ways to do it. Along the way, we will be learning some tricks and tips. Just so you've got some more arsenal in your bag. We'll be doing mirrors, lining them up. I've got a nice little method for you to make sure your mirrors are lined up correctly when you're going down the road in BMNG. So if you're enjoying this tutorial, uh, please do like and subscribe and pop a by for the next one. This is going to be it for now. I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap, obviously, of what we've done today. In fact, let's do that now. So we've gone to our props and we've taken notes of the numbers. And the fact there's some that mirror, they count as two. We've then gone to my description in the video and we've copied all this code... And the reason why they're in separate lines is because they are in their groups, you know, just so I know, easy way to find them. Certain codes you may not want. If you haven't got pop-up headlights, you'll be deleting this one. This is pop-up headlights. If you don't want active aero wing, that's this one. I've linked it to the airspeed. If you don't want um, lights that move to steering, you can delete this one. I don't know why, but if you didn't need a handbrake that worked, you can remove this one. Don't forget, you can just change these parameters to uh, if it was just like a normal handbrake. You don't have to have a vertical one. Uh, you can probably delete these ones because they're not working yet. But if you can get them to work, let me know and put them in the comments, please, because I would love to have mine working. This is important. This is a rev and wheel speed. Mine revs up to nine and a half. Well, actually, it should be rev revving up to ten. So I need to change this. I would just simply go. That's a thousand. So ten thousand. Because it goes up to ten thousand revs. And now I'll go back to Beam and G and see if it roughly lines up to where I want it to line up. There's your throttle brake and clutch. So if you're not having them, the most important simple one you might just be copying this one. Mine's set up to nine hundred because that's what the wheel rotation is, and it's just one to one. There's one active, and then it go. Uh, I'm just going to 
try and find the code for you, wasn't I? So you can see what they are. So give me a second. I'll bring that. Okay, there you go. Let me just try and explain this for you. So you've got prop, prop fixture number. So obviously that was the fixture. We found the number. We already explained that. And that's this representation here. Then you've got your function. So that's what it's going to be imitating, which is like an input value. So the wheel will be given an input value when you move it. And it will take that. And that's where you put this. And that's hence why I've just guessed most of these, by the way. Clutch, brake, throttle, uh, revs per minute. Wheel speed rest per minute I was given, but these ones I guessed. Uh, I guessed the lights and I guessed the air speed. I'm guessing there's going to be one for G Force, which I want to look into. Uh, I have got some fun ideas of making a camera that actually moves when you're accelerating to try to give a more realistic fun drive. But I could take a little bit of while and a lot of guessing. Uh, how far did we get to do, 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 do steering? And then you get rotation X, rotation Y, and rotation Z. So obviously when you click on a prop, you got your... Uh, what way is it? Is it X, Y, and Z? I don't know. I always just guess. But this one's turning this way. <laughs> so uh, this value here. So I'm guessing... Do, do, do... Rotation Y. Rotation Y is the spinny value. And I'm pretty sure we got up and down. So the first rotation X is up and down, which is like the handbrake. Comes forward like this. The wheel goes like that. And then obviously Z's going to be... Ah, like this one, I guess, isn't it? It's going to be like that. Spinning on uh, the flat axes. And then you got translocation, translocation. Uh, that one is oh and Z. I think that's moving back and forth. Yeah, so rather than spinning, it would move along the axis. You know when I originally pointed out the arrows, those ones. Rather than the curvy ones, it's the arrows back and forth. Then you got minimum, maximum. So like basically negative nine hundred and nine hundred um, is the steering wheel rotation, and uh, this is my maximum speed. And then we got uh, maximum revs. I think you're getting the idea, aren't you? And then you've got offset. Um, so say it's spinning. I think you can get it to spin, but slightly off axis. I'm guessing, something like that. And then you've got multiplier, which can be negative or positive. So say you've got one for one, and then you want to do it twice as that, you can put two in there, and it'll do two times the, the code sort of thing. So that's that to explain, near enough. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. Mine is a lot of guessing. Um, trial and error, taking it back and forth to Beam and G and automation and getting it to work. But I've got it to work and I've got some more crazy ideas and I'm going to get them to work so you can keep an eye out for those as well. So I think I have covered everything I can for now for moving props. Um, you have to be very, what's the word, inventive with how you get things to work sometimes. Like this wing, I think it's got parts in it and it won't actually rotate, pivot, Ideally, you want it to pivot on here, or at least on this bolt, but it won't. It will pivot in a weird way, because the 3D model isn't just that. It's got extra bits to it. So do keep things like that in mind, and just be really creative. You can be, if you can find an input, something that I haven't worked out yet, maybe, I don't know, the, a horn. The horn does something. You can push the horn, and it does something. I don't know. Let me know, and I'll try and give it a go as well, if you want me to have a little play, if you found an input that we can use. So that's it. I hope you liked today's first tutorial. I'll be making these quite a lot. Like I said, I'm going to the interior and we'll make a nice dash. We'll, make, we'll do some door cards, get them good. Maybe put some speakers in. Get the inside looking right and working right. So you've got the working wheels and like the mirrors to go to work. We should be able to do some door liner and stuff in here. It's all right. Oh no, we're going to have to change car. Expect the next car. We're the same props on that because I'm just going to clone this car and make a new one and I think I've broke this one and I'll change the name and things and BMG hopefully won't recognise that I've broke it and then uh, yeah we'll start making it look pretty feel free to like this video it helps me a lot when I can get a little bit of a push from you guys and feel free to subscribe if this is the first time you've come by and um, you want to learn some more skillful stuff for later so I didn't get to say the, wheel, the headlights popping up but uh, trust me the code works for them. 
Uh, one little bit of advice um, is a half value. So when you turn your headlights on to low beam, you know, normal beam, that's like a 0.5 value and your high beam's a full one value. So when you do it, you'll be like low beam, high beam. So just keep that in mind when you do that one. I have got other videos, but some people might have not seen it. So I thought I'd give you that. And also lining these up is a right pain. So uh, keep that in mind. But obviously this is a two part thing as well. Like I did with this one. I got the headlights as one piece. And then I got the bottom square that molds to the car as a different piece. So yeah, lots of fun, lots of tips for you guys. Keep it real, stay safe and share that love. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.